Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the next fight of the evening, an amateur mixed martial arts contest taking place at the featherweight division, scheduled for three rounds, three minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, holding an amateur mixed martial arts record of two victories and four defeats. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, and he weighed in at 145 pounds. From Stoughton, Massachusetts, he's representing Trifecta. Let's hear it for Brett, the Hitman, Layton. And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, holding an amateur mixed martial arts record of two victories and one defeat. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, and he weighed in at 145 pounds. From Boston, Massachusetts, he's representing Daniel Gracie Fight Team and Loco Lobo MMA. Let's hear it for Joe Simba Atala. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin McDonald. Yeah, these guys are so intense, ready to go at it. Simba versus the Hitman. I love it. Both guys are amped up, fired up. Stone cold look in the eyes of Brett the Hitman Leighton. Atala's got this fiery excitement to him. Hit, Hitman Leighton in the green trunks, Atala in the leopard trunks. Nice angles from Brett Layton already. Yeah, Brett working a lot on his boxing recently, I saw. Mm. Nice job keeping the distance. Nice right hand down the pipe. Just misses. Oh, head kick. Good head, head kick. kick. <laughs> Joe says, Joe come on, <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> look at, look at Layton, smile, smile. Of Brett. I love it. Brett staying composed in there, trying to frustrate Joe, it looks like. Brett switches in the stance here. Mm -hmm. Nice well, one, too. Well, we know that Layton can take a shot. Saw that in his debut against Shane Doherty, who went on to win the featherweight championship. So we know he's been in there with high caliber guys. Oh yeah, and Joe letting his hands go. Joe's throwing heavy punches. Looks like Brett's going to catch that kick. Nice, beautiful Joe, sprawl. Great sprawl. Well, a sprawl off the slip. It was a good shot entry to mitigate the error of that slip from Leighton. Joe keeping his distance right back up. It's not somewhere you really want to be with Brett. His uh, ability to scramble and his wrestling is just so good. Like Brett just trying to touch right now. Nice, nice shovel hook uppercut from Atalo with the lead hand. So explosive. Ooh, I stuck there for Brett. Well-timed. Good scary. awareness. Very good awareness. A lot of respect from both of these guys. It's a, it's a chess match of who's really winning the distance game here. Both guys very respectful of each other's power and skill set. That was a nice body kick from Atala. It was. Very powerful. That was a good calf Ooh. kick. Yeah, that was heavy. That went that part of the leg. It sounded gross. Thud. The thud is always much worse than that loud slap. Yep. And that's exactly what it was. Just the shin digging into the meat. Everything he throws has power on it. Just
meet in the middle again. Nice leg kick right out the gate from Atala. Right, getting aggressive here. There's that bandana split. Like it. No one sees it coming. Good you know, entry. Single, good, good entry here. Very good hips. Very nice sweeping in. Oh, but Joe's doing a great job sprawling out. Yeah, when he, he is. when Leighton cut that angle, I shot I thought for sure that was gonna There's hit the, the cameras, but he's got his legs locked now. He's gonna take it down here. Beautiful dump. It just took a little bit longer for him to finish it, but I was impressed by Atala's ability to sprawl, cut the angle, but that chain wrestling from Leighton proven yep. effective here. And Brett right next to his corner on top. Nice up kick from Atala. Looks like a little bit of complete. Whoa! No up kicks to the head and the amateur. Uh, he was on his hand. Yeah, that's oh. technically a cartwheel Wow, kick. very impressive. I was Which blocking that That was a cartwheel kick uh, on <laughs> all facets of it, yeah. And that was shot right back in on back the leg. Down. Great job by Brett. And Brett just showing off his wrestling chops here. Yeah, he's trying to lace up those legs. Let's see if he can posture up and land anything of significance here because the takedown doesn't score as much as it used to. Look at him here, stacking up. Nice knee on the solar plexus there, but good scramble for Matala. Looked like Leighton might have landed something there. It's like a right hand, but uh, I think Joe might have landed as well. And this is what Brett needs to do. Got to make it ugly. Get in there with him. Wear him down. Brett's just so strong in these Very positions. Nice. Drags him down to the ground. Great work by Brett here, and on the neck. Keeping that pressure. Stretching him out, too. Joe, good job. Feet on the hips, pushing yep, him away, pushing making him some space. Trying that cut wheel kick. Another. Yeah. I think he warned him the first time. I'm not sure. I don't sure. know. That doesn't it's, seem it's like it should be illegal. It's illegal. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's legal. Perhaps uh, the ref know. wasn't able to see that hand. Right, right, right. It's kind of like a fine line there, I guess. It's not an up kick. <laughs> Either way, the athleticism to be able to do something like that is very impressive. Yeah, I mean, I remember when Dion Rubio did that to, uh, I think it was Eddie George. Yeah. Like you said, it's not technically an up kick. And it's not like Leighton's a downed opponent on his knees. And Great timing there by too. Brett to get him on the single. Oh, but Atala's are getting away. Nice body kick to punctuate that round. Interesting round. Yeah, these guys have been snippy at each other, but... Yeah, and these guys aren't getting tired anytime soon. So I'm sure this third round is where it's really going to come down to who wants it more. Brett looks like he's barely breathing. Exactly. This guy's always in shape. And it's not like either of those two rounds are definitive either way. No, it's it's yeah. very close though. Anybody's I think it fight. comes down to this. Anybody's fight. It really could depend on where, what corner of the cage the judge is sitting on. You could give it to either guy. It's the kind of tip for tat it's been. And again, a lot of respect 
for both of these guys. They both know the caliber of opponent they're in there with. So they're very selective in their offensive prowlings. Brett's using a lot of movement here to set up his strikes. Yeah, he's doing a really good job switching stances, keeping uh, Atala guessing. But Atala doing a really good job cutting off the cage. He's got to do something with it, though. Some, when he does, it's flawless, but it's a matter of aggression, uh, aggressiveness for both of these guys. A lot changes when uh, you get taken down. You have to worry about that right. aspect of the game. Absolutely. So you're not as comfortable throwing those shots. I was going to say, Joe's, Joe's throwing less kicks. Yeah, and I'm surprised that Layton's not changing the levels, Oops. trying to fake takedowns to open up his strikes. Atala's changing stances for a brief second. Leighton with a nice right hand on the break there. He worked that a lot this camp. I think it's one of the most important oh, facets right of mixed martial big arts. Right hand, yeah. Backed him up. Patel's got to get more aggressive here. Got to keep that volume up. Both, both of them got to throw something. Nice leg kick. Another one looks like it was checked. Big double leg here. Beautiful he takedown. And he looks for the scramble. Wow, what a nice great scramble reversal. There. Excellent like reversal. Looks like Brett's setting nice. up a chain. But the chain. Very nice. That's what I mean. Very nice. Does. Such a good job adjusting for the takedown. Perhaps a knee tap there, it looked like. Very nice. Yeah, after that, like alligator roll from Atala to get yeah. out of that to complement the sprawl. You don't see a ton of that type of scrambling in MMA. Nice and ground and Brett pound. Laying down Brett getting aggressive here. Couple of big shots. This is huge for Brett at the end of the round too. Yep. This, this might be the only definitive round out of all three. Brett should end the round punching. He's got to end the round with some shots though. Yeah. Looks like he's the power is throwing strikes from That's the bottom. That's the fight. Great.
Ladies and gentlemen, keep the noise going for these two. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Alan Lau scores this contest. 30-27 for Joe Atala. Judge Nick Mahmood scores this contest. 29-28 for Brett Layton. And Judge Dave Ginsburg scores this contest. 29-28 giving you your winner by split decision, Brett the Hitman Layton! As I suspected, it came down to a split decision.